All right, this video is in regards to the 0x E8 error that uh, does come up uh, occasionally on the Epson XP420 printers. Basically what it's in regards to is something is blocking this carriage. This, um, this is the ink carriage right here. Something, for some reason, something has blocked it. So I've seen it come up. You see, it, here's the error right here. Well, this is a 0xEA error because it moved when it didn't supposed to, but it's uh, the 0xE anything is in regards to the carriage. So I've seen uh, the error come up for simple things like the uh, piece of blue tape that comes across right here it hasn't been removed. So you want to check to make sure that that is removed. Um, and then the other culprit is this, so let me get in there, this small white plastic piece down here um, sometimes does not move when it's supposed to and that blocks the carriage from, from moving. Uh, I believe the times when this has happened, it something happens during shipping, uh, especially since we test our printers before shipping them out and they all work 100% before we ship them. So something happens during shipping where that small piece um, gets locked. So what we do in this case is um, we turn off the printer. Once the air comes up, the, the printer will allow you to turn it off. And once you do that, once it turns off completely, let's give it a little bit. All right, you'll want to move the carriage back and forth, just like that. Make sure that that plastic piece is moving the way it's supposed to. Just give it, give it some movement that way. <clears throat> I get in there with my hand and just just move it around. Make sure it's not getting stuck on anything. Nothing's going to happen to it. Just make sure it's not getting stuck on anything and then put it back into place. And then move the carriage all the way to the left <clears throat> and turn the printer back on. Make sure that that plastic piece is, is down when you turn it back on. And you should, uh, you should get good movement and uh, you should, that error should be gone. <clears throat> if for some reason you're not able to move the carriage, back and forth like it's in the locked position what you'll want to do is head over to setup and maintenance and ink cartridge replacement once you do that the head will move over to the left And once it moves over to the left, you want to unplug it while it's on. So it, it's on and actually just pull the cord. And now it's off. I pulled the cord. Now it's going to let me move, move this around. If for some reason it's not, it's locked when you've turned it off. So that's the movement and that's the sound you want to get. So that little plastic piece is the culprit of the 0xE8 error. Once you have this free range movement, you'll know that it's, it's working well. All right, I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to give us a, uh, to send us a message back or uh, let us know how it worked out for you. Thank you.